What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we were planning on fitting the seats into the car because I've finally managed to find another red bright glitter back. So I ordered the correct seat rails as well. So I ordered brand new M2 mounts which are pretty much identical to the Buddy Club ones, just slight differences but the Buddy Club ones are like super low and if you know me at all then you'll know that the last thing I need are super low rail mounts. I'll not be able to see a single thing. So my dumbass managed to forget the keys for the car so we won't be fitting the seats today. However, well, not fitting them tonight. It's dark outside anyway, so I'll probably just wait till tomorrow when it's light and I'll do it then. But the mounts, I'm gonna crack open the box and see what these look like. Got a big man here. <laughs> do not yeah, bro. yeah. So my brother's here, he's gonna record this. So I've not got enough hands, I've also not got a stand, so here. Right, okay, figure out how this goes together and then we could actually fit them to the seats. If Why don't you bring one of the seats in? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 Why let's do that. One of the seats in. So get this put together, Yep. get the seat put on it Yep. and see how it looks. Yep. Let's do that. It looks pretty straightforward, so you've got the bracket. So these just mount onto these bolts here. It looks like this. Well, if you look here, these literally just... Basically, this seems like it's the pivot here. And that's what allows it to slide, so... Looks to me like this just slides on here. That'll probably just slide on there. Go right back to this stop there. We'll grab one of the seats from the garage and see how this looks with the rails on. Awesome. Wait, what one? The Z3. The Z3. Yeah. Which is amazing. Little bar of salt. No, saltfish. Are you hearing this? So, my dad calls my little Z3 Sabindani, which translates to soap dish. He said it looks like a little Pakistani soap dish. So, yeah, my car is now known as Soap Dish. So check this out, I said to my brother don't bother with cleaning these because I mean they're a bit mucky and stuff so I was like it's alright we'll just get them in the car and then we'll sort it all out afterwards. He was like nah I want to clean them so I was like alright okay fine let's check it out. Have a look at this difference though. So as you've probably seen this size done right so nice deep red colour then on this side it's all mucky and brown especially kind of down here but a big difference is so i wasn't sure if this had just like faded or whatnot it was just looking a bit mucky 
but after a clean, that's what the other side looks like. What a difference. That's sick. Smashed it, bro. Thanks. Yeah. So, yeah, gonna crack on with that. I've managed to find some bolts to fit the rails into this one. So, we'll get the rails fitted and my brother can continue cleaning that one. Then both the seats are done. And probably gonna head to mine, pick up the keys so that we can see these in the car. Because not putting in all this work for us to just have them sitting in my mum's living room. On top of that, I'm pretty sure my mum doesn't want them sitting in our living room. Back another day at my mum's house. Got pretty much majority of stuff here sorted. So I've got the boys coming over later on, and what we're gonna try and do is since I have that new cross member sitting there, we're gonna try and remove this one and uh, see if we can potentially roll the engine in to the bay, lift it up, and get it in its mouth. So potentially might be fitting the engine today. Earlier on you heard a brother say that I've got some wheels for this thing. So <laughs> I don't think there's any other way to put this. I've managed to nab myself my first ever set of T37s. Here they are. So <laughs> these are just awesome. So not, totally not the color scheme that I was wanting to go for. However, they came up, they were right around the corner from my house as well. So they're like the perfect specification as well. They're 16 by seven, first ever set of T37s in the original mag blue. Now these are actually the older versions of the T37s. So they've got the stickers rather than being like sort of etched. The guy said that these were probably pre 2012. I think after 2012, that's when they started doing like the raised lettering around here. I think we've got some there, but it's not a lot. It's not the, I think they usually say like Volk or Rays around the edges. I'm not 100% sure. These are extremely lightweight and uh, yeah, I'm going to get these on the car. There we go, she's on T37. Still looks like utter shite, but <laughs> get like a wee bit of an inkling as to how this will look. Also, Danny turned up. Good Danny! Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yeah, that's done. I reckon we should probably have a look at removing the cross member and see if we can get that done before the rest of them get here. I have uh, swapped Danny for the other Danny, so, <laughs> but, <laughs> look at this, we have an engine in the bay, so, managed to get the front cross member off, so, that's them lying there, we'll fit the new one after a wee while or something, but, oh, I am so buzzing now, so buzzing, it was a pretty sketchy job, had to, find a way to lift this thing up into the mounts rather than dropping it down into them so that wasn't very fun but with the use of the jack and blocks of wood and stuff we managed it 
that's in there. I didn't manage to record any of it because my phone's literally about to die. Typical, I know, I'm bad with this, but... Oh yeah. <laughs> Honda! <laughs> yeah. Jamie, absolute legend, helped lift this thing into the bay. So, yeah, while they were lifting it, me and other Danny were just sort of manoeuvring it, trying to get it in to the right spot for the mounts and stuff. So, now that this is done, we're gonna get rear mount fitted, uh, well, the rear L bracket fitted, and just do whatever else we can do. We can get the gear linkage on, maybe get dry shafts in, just whatever we can get done tonight, we're just gonna get that done. Have a good lad tonight, chill out, and just have a good time. Look at this, absolutely banging bright seats. After my brother cleaned them as well, they look sick. And then the Mag Blue T37s and a fully built high comp B18C in the engine bay. I don't even have words. I don't even have words. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. How many years ago? Shit. How, nine, ten, <laughs> 10 years ago. Nine, ten, yeah. Nine, ten That's years ago. Be. This is what I wanted then, and now it's, I've got it. Like, it's, it's here, it's ready to be put together. Oh, mate, exciting times. Absolutely exciting times. Damn, I mate. cannot wait to get this thing it's running. It's fun getting this thing torn apart, like, getting everything put back together, you mean? <laughs> uh, it's the Sylvia that needs to be torn apart, so. <laughs> yeah, so the cars, man. Too many. Oh, mate, too many, too many. But, yeah. Right, we're gonna crack on, get as much done as we can before the boys get back here and we get pizza. So, yeah, peace out. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this build because this thing is gonna be nuts. But peace out, I'll catch you in the next one.